Well, just in time for Halloween, bats are in the spotlight tonight. The Department of Fish and Wildlife detected a fungus in some local bats, and there's a chance they could start dying within the next few years. Your reporter covering Sutter County, Kayla Moeller, getting answers on how it could impact local farmers. When you think of pests like mosquitoes and crop eating insects, you might not think of the unsung heroes of the night, bats. And in Sutter County, nature's pest controllers could be in danger and that may spell trouble for the area's agriculture. You know, if you drive through Sutter County uh, on the right night and in the right areas, you end up with a mess on your windshield from, from bugs that you'll hit. Sutter County has a lot of bugs, especially in the warmer months. And the only flying mammal, bats, love to eat them up. It's a beneficial and symbiotic relationship between bats and farmers. But a fungus that can turn into a deadly disease called white nose syndrome has been identified in bats in five state counties, including Sutter. Last year we found it in just one county, so our results this year are an expansion of the fungus that causes the disease. White nose syndrome occurs when fungus invades the skin tissue of bats, degrading their wings while hibernating. Infected bats will likely show signs of white fuzz on their nose and wings. So far we haven't seen any signs of the disease, but those swabs that we take to test for the presence of the fungus have been coming back positive from the labs. If the fungus turns into white nose syndrome, it causes the bats to wake up early from hibernation at a time there aren't enough bugs to eat, and then they burn through their reserves, often resulting in death. But neither the fungus or disease can infect humans, pets, or livestock. If white nose syndrome impacts California's bats to the level that we see population level impacts, we might also see an increase in insect abundance. So we might see more agricultural pests or more insects on the landscape. About one to three percent of a bat's diet is mosquitoes. Bats play a vital role in our ecosystem, especially in agriculture and grasslands. Each bat can eat thousands of insects a night. Um, it's estimated that they provide three point seven billion dollars worth of pest control services to farmers across the country. The Department of Fish and Wildlife encourages the public to use their online bat reporting tool. So if you see any dead bats, sick looking bats, even healthy bats that are roosting, they want to know about it because they say it'll help them in their research when it comes to white nose syndrome.